Lord in mercy. That is some good gravy is what it's about. People have asked me for years, you got a recipe for gravy? Recipe, are you kidding? I watch my mother, my grandmother, all them old cooks on the wagon. I never seen a recipe in my life. Little bacon grease, little flour, canned milk, milk, cream, throw it in there, stir it together, salt and pepper, pour it on everything you got, it's good. But today we're gonna slow it down a little. We're gonna make some good gravy. I fried about four pieces of good thick bacon in here. Got me some good bacon grease going. You wanna make sure it's not too hot before you start. I let this cool just a little after I fried that bacon. Gotta have a little flour. You can see that sizzle. I'd say that's all oh, five or six tablespoons and probably pretty close to a half a cup of grease. We're gonna let this cook for a minute. I think they call it a roux. Stir in that gravy, make sure we ain't got no lumps in here. What am I using? A spatula. You can use a flat one. I like these got them holes in it because it mashes them lumps out of that flour if you got any. As Grandma used to say, it ain't good gravy if it's got lumps in it. So we're going to bring this back to a bowl. We're going to go ahead and season it. A little black pepper. A little bit of salt. We'll probably season, season this again right before we get to the end. We'll let that get back to cooking. You want to see this begin to bubble up begin to cook a little. You can see there is some action taking place. We'll adjust that fire just a little. If you're in a house cooking this and you don't want to do it outside, I'd say a medium heat. Be plenty, medium to even low. When you get this stuff to going, you're going to have to turn it down again. A tip, hey, warm your milk just a little before you throw it in there. Cold milk into a hot liquid, it's going to make things want to go draw together. My cow juice ain't heated today, so what do I got to go with it? A little cold water to slow this process down. So, we went back to cooking a little. I'm going to have to add just a little more flour when we thicken this up. But you see this begin to sizzle again a little. That's what we're after. As it begins to thicken a little, and you can see it has. Let's add a little cow juice. Probably going to take about, I'd say, a cup. Hear that? That's a cup. That's begin to sizzle. You need to stir immediately. Now at this process, you may, if it's cooking too fast and you begin to see it lump up, get you some of that cold water and slow it down. But don't let them knots get in there. Just keep stirring. We're gonna slide it back over here to this main heat and we're gonna let it thicken. The mm -hmm. trick to making good gravy, I think, is the spatula and constant stirring round and round. Milk will scorch and it'll burn if you just leave it sitting there and that stuff will get like wallpaper paste. We're gonna let this get thick. You may have to, if it gets away from you, add a little more cold water, add a little more milk. But I've never seen a batch of gravy go bad. This gravy's getting about the right consistency. We're gonna bring it way over here and slow it down we've slowed this down folks we're over here on the cool side of the grill this old gravy to me has got the right consistency it'll stay on the biscuit I promise you so come back we're fixing to put it on some biscuits and we'll okay see. folks let's go back through this had a little bacon grease probably nearly a half a cup flour you got to let that grease make sure it's not too hot but when you put that flour in there we want to see a sizzle we want to see that flour go to bubbling so that's say start out five or six tablespoons along in there. Good flat spatula. Got some holes in it so we can stir that gravy constantly. Because when you put cold milk in there, remember what I told you, it's sort of going to shock that. It's going to want to thicken. You can warm your milk just a little before you start, or you can use a warm cream. I've used a lot of canned milk on ranches. Stirring constantly. And we're going to season along the way, salt and pepper, right before we get done. We're gonna taste it, see if it needs anything else. Hmm. That's the best thing since a pocket on a shirt or sliced bread. That is good. I would visit with y'all some more, but I ain't got time. Thank you and God bless you.